Hi there, I'm Christopher Dunnigan. This is HandmadeInVermont.com and today we're talking about the Hubberton Forge Rook floor lamp. This is the 234901. This is going to be the one using a large drum shade. We'll get into that in just a second. This is going to be 60 inches tall from the floor to the top of that shade. The bottom part, which is going to be the footprint, is going to be 11.8 by 8.5. And then this is going to be using an on-off dimmer that's built into a stock coming off that base. It's going to be about 36 inches up or so, right around uh, midway up the lamp, so you don't have to reach down or reach up. Just where you're, if you're standing there, where your hand is going to be is where that's going to go on. And don't forget, it's going to be an on-off dimmer. So it's, you're going to want to get a dimmable bulb, and we'll talk about that in just a minute. Okay? So why don't we get into lamping to begin with, which is what we're going to talk about. So if you guys want to stick with an incandescent bulb, and sometimes people do, you're going to be limited to 100 watts for an incandescent bulb because of the heat generated by that bulb. If you want to do LED, you can do whatever you like. So uh, this is going to be able to take an A19 bulb. This is an A19 also can take an A21, which is a little bit bigger. The only limitation is for an LED is going to be, can it get into this glass? And this is going to be easily uh, able to get in the glass. And you can see the height of it is going to be about there. A21 is probably going to come up near the top. It's going to be fine, too. You can find these in, uh, up to this size, probably up to 100 watt equivalent A21s, which is a larger size up. You should be able to, up to find, find up to 100 50 watt equivalent. So a um, couple things on that. When you do buy your LEDs, make sure you buy them in the color temperature you guys like. This light coming down on my hands is coming from LEDs up above that are 3000 Kelvin. That's that warmer kind of incandescent glow that we all grew up with. If you like that whiter outdoor light, that's going to be 4000, 5000 Kelvin. So it's really up to you what you get. Uh, make sure you buy a dimmable LED. That's going to be really important on this fixture because it's automatically on a dimmer. Okay. So it'll tell you that on the box, and it'll tell you on the box what the Kelvin is. So 3,000 is going to be the warmer stuff, 4,000, 5,000 is the whiter stuff. That uh, socket's going to be hiding in this glass diffuser, which is Hubbardson Forge's opal glass. It's just a nice, clean, white glass. You can't see the socket. It's opaque. Um, it looks a bit like a candle when it's sitting on there, so it's pretty cool. It's held down by these retaining rings. There's going to be two of them holding that piece of glass down. You put them in with your hands. Very, very easy. Let's hop into lampshade materials. So it's going to be using this shade, which I showed you just a second ago. This is 20 inches in diameter, and it's going to be 8.5 inches tall. It's going to be available in a lot of different fabrics. And there's a pull-down menu up on the right. It's going to say, choose your fabrics or choose your shade. And you'll notice just beyond that, there's a place where you can request shade samples. So if you guys want to, we send these things out every day. It's free. They go right out into an envelope, stick them right in the mail to you. Just all, the only thing you have to do is uh, use the pull-down menu to begin with to see what fabrics are available for that shade. Because on that big request form, there's a whole bunch of stuff that is not uh, doesn't work for this fixture. <clears throat> so just choose the actual samples that you're going to be um, able to get on that shade. Put in your name, your full address, and we send it right out to you. So it doesn't cost you a thing. Gets them into your hand really fast. Okay. Moving on from there, on top of that shade is going to be a frosted glass diffuser, and it's going to be a little bigger than this guy. So this is a sandblasted glass disc that sits on the top. There's going to be a bit of a gap on the edge between this and the edge of the shade because you need air to get around this to cool the bulb. So the whole reason for these things is that if you are up on a second floor looking down into this lamp and you don't want to see your socket, you would use this, which is going to automatically come with it, um, and that's going to be uh, just shielding your eye from the socket. It does, um, does stop some of the light from going up, so if you want to get the max light out of this, you can just stick this in the closet. There's no, if you're not in that situation where you have a second floor looking down on it, okay? So after that, why don't we talk about metal finishes? If you're on our website, there's a, you'll notice the pull down menu where it says choose your finish. We have a finishes help guide. It's over on the left-hand side of the screen in those red tabs over there. So open that up for me. There's a video at the top of that page of me talking to you guys about the differences in Hopperton Forge finishes and how they can look on different types of forging. I'm going to be talking about a color chart farther down on the page. So scroll down for me. Check that chart out. Use the chart with the video. Watch the whole thing. When you're done with all that, go back down to that chart. You can click on any of those pictures and a bigger window is going to pop up showing you more samples of whatever finish you just clicked on. You want to see a bunch of stuff in bronze, click on bronze. Want to be, see a bunch of stuff in soft gold, click on that. 
so on and so on and so on. So I think that covers most of the important things here. We have this on display on the second floor of our showroom here in Vermont. We have over 350 Hubbardton Forge fixtures on display. If you want to see what we have on display, we have a What's on Display page. It's in the red tabs back over on the left-hand side, so check it out. In addition to our amazing showroom, there is none other like this. Hubbardton Forge doesn't even, they use this as their showroom when you come up visit. We have a clearance center. So clearance center stuff is 75% off MSRP. It's returns, discontinued things, and showroom samples. It's an amazing deal for you, and you have to come here to use it. If you're going to visit us, bring lots of measurements of ceiling heights and counter sizes and island sizes, distance between junction boxes and your ceiling, um, and also bring a big SUV because you're going to want to take some of this stuff home and um, it's a good thing for you. You can also take pictures with an iPad. A lot of people do that. They'll take pictures of their project they have with an iPad and we can kind of just kind of go through it here in person. It works out great for everyone involved. Okay, so when you buy your Hubbardton Forge fixtures from HandmadeInVermont.com, shipping is free to every state except Alaska and Hawaii. There is no tax if you ship out of the state of Vermont and we're the only dealer with 90 day returns and no restocking fees. No one else does that. Some larger items, generally big things on pallets and custom things are non-returnable. We'll always talk about that long ahead of time so there's no surprises. And then we also offer a rush program. So Hubbardton Forge generally takes about three to four weeks to get product out. They don't stock anything. We can cut that time in half. It's super inexpensive. If you want to know more, email me at sales at handmadeinvermont.com or you can call 802-446 during business hours. So I'm here every day except Sunday from 10 to 6 Eastern Time, and our showroom's open every day except Sunday from 11 to 6. If you guys have questions, let me know, and thanks for stopping in today. Take care. Bye-bye.